Hello everyone, Sci-Fi Steve here, previously Owen Wilson Jr. Uh, with an introduction of a new challenge that I have accepted for Pokemon Leaf Green version. It's known as the Christian Challenge. Mm, the Christian Challenge, uh, whereas I accepted the 24-hour challenge more as a personal challenge for myself. It is actually a challenge. A friend of mine made me aware of this challenge too and said that it's worth a look in and I had a look and it is ridiculous. It's got all these rules that you need to abide by. Um, yeah, so basically Pokemon the Christian Challenge. Um, it's, um, I don't want to watch that cutscene again. Um, I'm going to leave the um, the rules in the description. As you can see, I already have a save file here, calling myself Blue. Uh, and I've got three badges already. Um, but uh, I'm going to be starting a new game. And uh, doing this Christian challenge, I'm gonna have this introduction video, and then I'm probably gonna do updates along the way rather than have a complete walkthrough. Like maybe show every gym badge along the way. But basically, I'm putting the rules in the description, but I'll read through through them now for you. So the Pokemon Christian challenge. The rules are as follows. Uh, players will not evolve their Pokémon. Uh, so straight away we've got some problems there. Um, because I have never gone through an unevolved run-through before, ever, on this game. So that's going to make it a challenge already. Um, so... Um, I've thought of a few ways around it, though. Uh, however, it does say that catching and using an uh, catching and using an evolved form that has already been evolved in the wild when you caught it is acceptable. Um, so if I can find an evolved form of a of a Pokemon, then I can I can then use it. That's fine. Uh, but evolving Pokemon that I have is a no no. So, none of that. Uh, rule number two. Players may not catch, train, nor use moves of the following types. Dark, Psychic, and Ghost. Uh, this is another kick in the teeth, because as many may know, that I am very, very fond of my Psychic moves. They are very, very useful. Um... Uh, my my favourite Pokemon to use while levelling up is is Caterpie into 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 Butterfree because it learns Confusion and Psybeam. It's a very very good uh, semi psychic Pokemon to have until I usually trade it out for something like Mr Mime or Hypno, uh, which are other very good psychic Pokemon to have. Uh, usually I would have an Alakazam, but it's very difficult to get one of those without cheating, uh, especially when I have no one to trade with. So um, having no Psychic Pokémon would be very difficult, would be very difficult indeed. Um, so not only am I doing an unevolved run, but I'm doing a no Psychic Pokémon run. Um, I don't really need a Psychic Pokémon to go against my rival that much, but it will be very difficult to get past the Poison Gym and uh, the Ghost Poison Elite Four member without a Psychic type. So that will be very interesting, especially an unevolved Psychic team, an unevolved non-Psychic team against two Gengars will be Rather difficult indeed. Uh, rule number three, Pokemon must reach level 22 before set in daycare to breed. Uh, now, there's no real breeding in 
Leaf green and fire red, to my knowledge, not really. I mean, I, I don't, I don't really breed Pokemon anyway. But the stipulation that still applies to these games is that they need to have reached level twenty-two before I can put them in the daycare. Uh, so basically, daycares out of bounds until sort of like SSN sort of levels. Um. I don't, I don't really use the daycare that much anyway, but it's good to put like Pokemon in if you want to improve your data, but if you want to improve your um, Pokedex off screen, put them in the daycare for a few hours, come back, level them up once, then evolve them and then put them back in. It's a very good way of uh, increasing your Pokedex that way. But um, there's no evolution in this run through, so my Pokedex is going to be very sparse indeed. Um, don't know how I'm going to get all of the items from the aids, that's going to be very difficult. Uh, but I, you don't need them to win. However, you do need flash. So I'm not sure how you're going to get flash without evolving Pokemon. You can catch none, you can catch wild evolve forms, so you can catch Metapod and Kakuna. And if you come across those, I think it's basically going to be like a catch fest. I'm going to be catching a lot more Pokemon in the wild than um, than I ever have done before. Uh, two Pokemon of the same gender may not be in the daycare at once. I'm never. I'm not even going to be using the daycare, so that's fine. Uh, rule number four: If players obtain a Pokemon egg, it is their duty to keep said egg on them and train the newborn until it is reached level 18 before disposing or releasing. I found that very funny. Uh, keep in mind that this is the, the Christian challenge, so um, I would love to do this in Soul Silver. I think that this um, this is more sort of geared towards Soul Silver. You'd have to keep Togepi until it was level 18 before you then uh, deposit it into the into the PC uh, legendaries this is this is the next rule legendaries must be killed none may be caught uh, now I'm only going to go up to the Pokemon League I think uh, but it depends on how what I feel at the time, whether I'd like to then take on the legendaries as well, which are the um, legendary birds and Mewtwo. I need to just double check whether Snorlax would then count as a legendary, whether I'm allowed to catch that or not. I don't think it does. It's more an event Pokemon than a legendary, so I think it's fine. Uh, Pokemon may not be resurrected from fossils, and players should avoid research laboratories at all costs. Uh, now, uh, this means that when you get to Cinnabar Island, you can't enter the research laboratory, which is fine. You just need to go into the mansion. You don't really need to enter the research laboratory unless you want to get a get a fossil re resurrected, so the fact that I can't resurrect fossils, there's no point in going in there. Um, but does that also include Oak's research laboratory? Because if it does, then we break that within the first five minutes of the game. Um, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't, because, you know, there are three research laboratories in the whole thing. There's there's Oak's, there's Silthco, and there's the Cinema Island, or the, the the um, yeah, Cin Cinema Island one. Um, so I'm pretty sure that uh, it doesn't mean all of them. Just ones that you restore fossils in. Um, the next rule, HM slaves are not allowed. A HM slave is a Pokemon that you teach all of your HMs to. It only knows HMs. So all four of its moves are HMs. Uh, to free up your other parties, so that to, to free up your other party members, so that they can have other moves without being burdened with a HM. Uh, this means 
I very rarely use HM slaves anyway, but um, all that this means is you can't have one Pokemon that has four HMs on it. So uh, that's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, here's one that is really going to be a kick in the teeth. Uh, players may not gamble at game corners and the use of self-improving narcotics, for example zinc, calcium, rare candy, is strictly prohibited. So uh, no gambling and no drugs. Um, it says that we can't gamble at game corners but doesn't say that we can't like trade in our money for tokens um, to get items does mean that we'll have to spend a lot of money to get certain items which I will not be too keen on but hey ho um, them's the breaks oh dear I think I'm coming down with something, sorry. Uh, and the final rule. Ekans, Arbok, Cephaper, Cypher, and Superior. Superior. Oh, well, those are probably Pokemon that I don't know. Are off limits. So basically, all the snake ones are off limits. Players may not catch nor train them. So that means that in this one, Ekans and Arbok, we can't catch them. So that limits the amount of Pokemon that we can catch down yet again. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to really struggle on this. I think though it will be alright. shouldn't be too difficult. So um, yeah, I think I think it will be okay. It'll be fun, it'll be challenging, uh, it will bring an, another level to the gameplay, having to also have these rules that you have to abide by. And I have these rules open at all times next to my, uh, next to my screen just so that I know. I already have a plan of what sort of uh, what sort of team I'm going to be building. So what I think I'll do is I'll um, put updated videos whenever I get a new team member. And, uh, and then uh, show you uh, the team throughout key points and if I ever run into any problems let you know uh, what's going on there. Anyway, yes, this is Sci-Fi Steve signing off, ready to start a new game here. Um, it's going to be fun. Uh, and I'll uh, see you all. <laughs> see you all around. <laughs>